community as well. Interpretations of the Bible led Old Order Mennonites to reject the use of modern technology like the Internet. But modern Mennonites have made a different choice. The manager of the Mennonite Tour Center in St. Jacobs, Ontario, explains how education has affected Mennonites' view of technology. Well, I think it comes by education, and that all Mennonites at one point just went to eighth grade, for example. So what they didn't know that you are fearful of. And so by edu be becoming educated about things and understanding that uh, one, after all, has been given the brain, and some power to reason as to what to make choices wisely and so through education they understand that these things can be put to good as well as otherwise. The Mennonite Central Committee of Ontario held a conference last month with local churches about their humanitarian efforts around the globe. We got a chance to interview Mennonite community members who spoke about the concerns regarding technology. It's important to realize um, and the Mennonite community needs to do this, that technology is, is not something to be feared. Um, it's an excellent tool for getting word out, for communicating, and just sharing ideas, and um, just inspiring one another to do great things. Um, but, I mean, there, there are limits. I mean, Facebook, at the same time, can be an addiction for some people, and that's a lot of what the Christian walk is about, just knowing your limits and, um, yeah, just... In everything in moderation. For modern Mennonite churches, the use of different kinds of technology is not uncommon. But Graham Sweet would rather do without it. I'm not a huge fan of internet. Uh, I use it when I have to, mostly for email, but that's almost all. I try to limit my time on there. I enjoy face-to-face -face interaction a whole lot more. It's real. Mm -hmm. It's not typing, right? Are there other reasons why you don't enjoy the internet? Um, it takes me away from people. Yeah, that's mostly the main reason. Mennonite churches find themselves catering to both people like Sweet and others who do embrace technology. You know, we need to stay current. And while we have the old ones in our constituency and we have the old order, we do have people my age, people your age, who are um, on the cutting edge of technology and who rely on that as their main, main source of communication and information. And we have to acknowledge that and stay current or we will lose that portion of the constituency. Peckett's concerns are becoming a reality. Mennonite churches are losing the attention of young people on the cutting edge of technology. Or they're losing a lot of interest with the young people and even young adults that are in their 20s and 30s. So I think the one, well, the one day our youth pastor did a sermon and he said, everybody who has a cell phone, take it out. And everybody who had a cell phone was allowed to text their pastor, um, text about the sermon or questions about anything. And he would read them at the end of the service. And that really sparked a lot, a lot of interest. And so I think that's a good thing because it's helping out a lot of people. While the Mennonite Central Committee is working to keep young people engaged, they also want people to understand the dynamics of their community. Probably the misconception is people not being close enough to the Mennonite community to realize how many different groups of Mennonites there are and how wide a range of Mennonites there are. And one of the things that sort of creates that range is the choices of which technologies to use and which ones not to use. I would say many of the more conservative groups would find certain technologies uh, as anti-community that, that would prevent them from being together as families, pr from being together as extended families and, and neighborhoods and communities, so they choose not to use some of those communications technologies. Uh, we've made other choices about living more urban lives, many of us, and so we have found that used well those technologies can help us. I would say we're new at using them, we're not experts. I'm Monique Johnson, reporting from the University of Western Ontario's Graduate Journalism Program.